good. Perhaps the most advanced technology that has fully manifested is represented by the Boeing X-45 unmanned combat air vehicle. This is an autonomous jet fighter and attack aircraft. The X-45 is designed to work closely with humans and is always ultimately under the control of a human commander. But if there is a communications breakdown, or any other time that its human commander so authorizes, the X-45 is fully capable of understanding its mission objectives, plotting the route, avoiding enemy fire, correctly identifying the designated target, executing its mission, and returning to base without any human intervention required in the process. When two or more of them fly together, they communicate with one another, exchanging deep information about their state capabilities and objectives so that they can negotiate between themselves as to which aircraft should carry out which activities to maximize the likelihood of success of the operation as a whole. What we are talking about here is deep cognitive behavior, not only embedded in the performance of the individual aircraft, but also reflected in the communications among the aircraft and between those aircraft and their human commander. It's my pleasure to introduce our next speaker. Um, consider him a friend of Ziff Davis Media. We've worked together on events across the country and each time he brings a slightly different perspective to the audiences that we're working with. Jack Shore is a 30-year veteran of IT and business management. What's very interesting about Jack is his discipline isn't just IT and it's not just business, it's both. Um, he is a graduate of Yale. He also earned his uh, master's degree from the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern. He's the author of several books, including uh, one of my favorites, which I, I read recently, Surviving in the Digital Jungle. Let's zero in on our keynote speaker, our guest for the day, Jack Shaw. Jack, thanks for joining us. You are not in business simply to minimize costs. There is no history, no company in the history of business that has ever shrunk to greatness. What you need to do is you need to think about how you're going to manage costs effectively to support the growth of the business. Jack Shaw is not only an experienced speaker, he has consulted with governments and businesses in dozens of industries. And he is the author of several notable business books, including Doing Business in the Information Age and Surviving the Digital Jungle. Hi, I'm Jack Shaw, and I've had the good fortune to work at the cutting edge of business and technology for over 30 years now, during my career, I've seen several major sea changes in how businesses use technology to gain strategic advantage. The arrival of personal computers in the early 1980s, the advent of client-server computing in the late 80s and early 90s, and of course everyone's familiar with the phenomenal explosion known as the internet boom in the mid to late 90s and the rise of the World Wide Web concomitant with that. We're now going through another similar change in how businesses use technology. And it's the advent of intelligent systems. I'm not talking about what's commonly referred to as business intelligence, although that's an important but small piece of the puzzle. No, what I'm talking about are systems that actually exhibit the same kinds of deep cognitive behavior and can reason about situations in the same way that human experts in a given field can. This kind of new technology combined with those that preceded it is giving businesses and organizations of all types the opportunity to gain strategic advantages that far exceed what's been able to be done in the past. The Queen Mary sailing from Southampton, England, 
For 50 years in the 20th century, she and her sister ocean liners dominated the market for transatlantic travel. Oh, it was possible to fly between, say, New York and London, but you could ask any executive at the ocean liner companies and they would tell you that why would any business person want to subject themselves to 24, 36 hours or more of noise and cramped discomfort when by riding on the ocean liner they could travel in comfort, even luxury, and arrive at their destination in less than a week. Oh no, they'd be glad to tell you, business travelers will always go by ocean liner when they cross the Atlantic. And so it was until 1957 when Pan American Airlines introduced the Boeing 707 jet aircraft with service that traveled from New York to London in eight hours and in six months time the transatlantic passenger ship industry lost 90 percent of its business. Now a company that has recognized the importance of innovation is ABA PGT Manufacturing in Manchester, Connecticut. They are a leading manufacturer of injection molded plastic gears. Here's a photograph of their main manufacturing facility during the first shift when their maintenance and repair engineers are on staff. On Friday afternoon at the end of the day when the engineers all went home, the last person out turned off the lights, but no one turned off the injection molding machines. And for the next 16 hours, those machines ran, cranking out hundreds of thousands of parts without anyone there to supervise that activity. And when the engineers came in the next morning and saw what had happened, they were absolutely delighted. Because this is what happens every night at ABA PGT Manufacturing. In fact, here's a photo of the same factory floor during the second and third shift. Best presentation this year. Timely, meaningful, and useful. Great job. Jack knows that each audience is unique, and he works with you to meet your distinct needs. He has spoken for hundreds of corporations, associations, IT companies, government agencies, and other public sector organizations. He brings years of experience to crafting the perfect presentation for your group. Is that you really can have it both ways. You can be high tech and high touch. You can provide global 24 by 7 customer self-service with all the efficiency and productivity that that can generate and still combine that with the personalized customer care of having a real live human being available to solve problems and answer questions. Your program kept the audience spellbound for an hour and 30 minutes. Although Jack focuses on the strategic business issues that impact organizations, his in-depth understanding of and experience with today's information technologies give him a unique perspective that will help your audience gain competitive advantage in our rapidly changing business world. None of you needs a power drill. In fact, nobody needs a drill. Because a drill is just a tool. What we need are holes. It's not about the tool. It's about what you do with it that's important. In order to survive, there's a few imperatives. You have got to collaborate increasingly with your suppliers, customers, 
and partners. You've got to maintain a high level of agility in response to a rapidly changing business environment. You've got to bring more products and customer-oriented services to market more quickly. You've got to continue to differentiate yourself from the competition through innovative new products and processes. And while doing all of these other things, continue to increase the productivity of your people. Now, these kinds of autonomic processes are really part of a broader autonomic evolution that's taking place. As we see organizations put multiple self-managing or autonomic processes in place over the next few years, we're going to see the rise of the first of the autonomic enterprises, organizations where all of the major mission-critical business processes work without human intervention being required in terms of handling the routine day-to-day -day activities, thereby freeing up people to focus their time, talents, and energies on those things that people can do better than computers, and that is manage exceptions, solve problems, and continuously improve your business processes. We're going to see the move toward autonomic supply chains. We're already beginning to see that as parts and materials, products and services, information and funds flow between organizations without human intervention being required, but always according to rules established within those trading partner organizations and agreed upon between them. Ultimately, I believe that over the course of the next five to ten years, we're going to see the, the emergence of a global autonomic economy. You certainly met the mark. I asked you to inspire my business partners to think beyond the current needs of their clients and prepare them for the challenges that they'll need to meet in the future. Not only did you accomplish those objectives, but you did so in a language of international commerce that binds together over 200 business partners from over 15 countries. Jack has spoken in over 20 countries in his career. He is no stranger to adapting his presentation for a wide variety of audiences. Konnichiwa. Watashi wa Nihongo ga yoku hanasemasen no de Ego de Hanashimas Yoroshiku Onegai Tashimas. So what should you be doing about this? Well, like everything else that has to do with business and technology, much of it has to do with changing the way that you and your organization think about technology and it's no longer enough for you or your senior management to be accepting of change. It's not even enough for you to embrace change. You've got to actively seek out change. Not just change for the sake of change, but you've got to continuously look for opportunities to leverage the best current in emerging tools and technologies to rethink your business processes. Thanks for taking the time to watch this DVD. I hope by now you've gotten a better feel of how important it is for businesses to effectively integrate people, processes, strategy, and technology. It's no longer possible for businesses to be successful without putting all of these pieces together. Helping your audience understand the strategic impact of information technology and how they can use information technology to grow their businesses more profitably and more successfully is going to be critical to their success. I'd be delighted to work with you and your team to plan and deliver a presentation customized to the exact needs of your audience. We'll give them information they can take home and use immediately, as well as perspective that will help shape their strategic thinking for years to come. And we'll have fun doing it.